Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, let's talk about a new budget smartwatch but it has uh, great looks and loaded with features. So we're going to talk about Gizmo's latest uh, uh, budget smartwatch with Bluetooth calling. It's called the Glow Lux. So this is um, available in different uh, uh, color themes. Uh, you get the black uh, band, then you get uh, stainless steel uh, uh, strap, then uh, you get uh, uh, brown color. So there are plenty of options available uh, in the Glow Lux series. So you can choose uh, uh, which kind of strap or whether you want the leather kind of finish or whether you want the metal strap, the stainless steel strap. So you can choose between those variants. So we're going to talk about uh, the Gizmo Glow Lux. Uh, this uh, comes loaded with features it has an AMOLED display it has Bluetooth functionality up to two weeks of battery life uh, again a great uh, set of features being offered so let's get started with uh, the experience of using this smartwatch so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so this is the box packaging you can see a glow lux mentioned this is the stainless steel uh, with a blue ring it actually looks very good and uh, you also get the regular black uh, strap uh, uh, included in case you're a fan of black uh, we have uh, the uh, gold with brown leather uh, strap uh, that's the one we have we have the features mentioned here a uh, full uh, touch screen hd display it's an amoled display then uh, you get uh, around 1.32 inches uh, uh, in screen size uh, then uh, then you get uh, uh, resolution of 390 by 390 pixels 500 nits of peak brightness two days uh, working time with a uh, bluetooth calling without calling around 15 uh, days premium metallic body then uh, you get ip67 uh, rating then app is available on uh, the play store as well as the on ios too now you can see the features again mentioned here uh, there is no always on display we'll come back to that 500 nits of brightness uh, split screen call and music uh, enable uh, dynamic watch faces google assistant privacy lock uh, you can change the menu styles body temperature spo2 100 percentage 100 plus sports mode and 24 by 7 heart rate monitoring now it also comes in this beautiful box so let's go straight into the watch and we'll show you what all features it offers so this is the watch uh, we have uh, we have this golden dial here then uh, leather kind of finish it's not actually leather finish but leather finish uh, the back uh, has uh, kind of uh, silicon band and uh, you can also see all the sensors uh, available here uh, looks pretty good the charging port uh, this is made of uh, metal actually so that uh, does give a, a good uh, premium uh, finish here it's actually kind of an alloy and uh, looks pretty premium the strap also gives it a good finish uh, it uh, definitely feels like leather strap uh, the gizmo branding is also there so that's uh, uh, the thing uh, with uh, the design aspect you can see that uh, there is good grip also so uh, uh, it looks uh, definitely good in terms of uh, build quality fit and finish the metal uh, band looks good you have three buttons this is uh, uh, to go to the sports mode directly then this is uh, for the menu and this is to power on the watch so those are the three buttons available so you can see here this is how it uh, powers on and uh, build quality as i said before looks good now talking about the display now we have an amoled display here it's a very vibrant and crisp display uh, let's talk about uh, the ui experience uh, before that uh, the display quality is definitely good you get up to 500 nits of brightness even the outdoor visibility is good the touch response is actually very good you can see here very smooth and slick uh, ui and the colors are also vibrant and viewing angles are again once again pretty good so display quality is good it's an amoled display but one thing what is missing is there is no always on display on this watch that's something which uh, uh, gizmo could have done uh, better because uh, with an amoled display you expect always on display but that's something which is missing on this watch so next let's have a look at the menu so swiping from the top uh, you get this uh, option uh, to increase or decrease the brightness settings uh, bluetooth uh, calling and uh, do not disturb modes then uh, from the left uh, you get this uh, cube toggles uh, on uh, the changing the options then uh, if you swipe from the uh, left side uh, you get uh, the uh, calories steps and other details heart rate monitoring is there call records sleep tracking weather info and you can add additional options as well so these are the options uh, and then swipe from the bottom you get this uh, uh, notifications and if you click on this button now uh, you get the, uh, these um, uh, modes these are the modes you can see here there are plenty of workout modes available more than 100 uh, uh, workout modes are there so all those things looks pretty good then uh, if you press this you get this uh, menu icon uh, the menu include telephone uh, frequent contacts call records voice assistant data uh, 
then uh, body temperature, workout modes, activity records, uh, heart rate, sleep, blood oxygen, weather, uh, female uh, uh, health tracking, then uh, music control, stopwatch, alarm. So plenty of options are there. Uh, so uh, it is loaded with features and this button lets you go back or uh, turn off the display. So that was the buttons and options available. Now if you go here, you can uh, see that uh, uh, all the all the menu uh, is there. Then you can actually change the look of the menu. That's uh, uh, from the settings. Uh, you can actually change the look of the menu, and uh, you can actually go here, and the menu style can be changed. So there are three menu style options available. So that's the UI, and it looks pretty good. Now let's talk about the Bluetooth calling. Now we'll just uh, show you how it works and the speaker output. So you can just uh, toggle it from here. So we'll just uh, call the uh, number here. Hello. We welcome you to the one-to-one -one idea service SuperNet 4G. Data strong network. Here you will find information on special offers for you. For information on your best offers, press 1. For information on best offers, press 2. For digital ads, press 9. So as you can see the speaker is uh, placed here so this is the area of the speaker and uh, uh, the speaker output is quite loud I would say especially if you are inside home or office it looks pretty good but again uh, if you are in a crowded area it may not sound that great but uh, you can actually uh, call the microphone performance is also quite good uh, no complaints here but again it should be in uh, kind of silent uh, uh, environment because uh, in a louder condition it may not be very much uh, 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 hearable uh, especially with uh, the speaker so this is a uh, pretty useful actually the calling works the sound clarity is also pretty good now you can control uh, the camera and music also from here now talking about uh, the uh, other aspects uh, including uh, the heart tracking uh, heart rate monitoring and the steps tracking now we felt that uh, the steps tracking uh, is quite accurate uh, more or less uh, what you generally see say for example if I walk 100 steps probably you will get somewhere around uh, 90 to 100 and that's a uh, pretty good uh, for a budget smartwatch the heart rate monitoring again is quite okay or more or less accurate when we compare to uh, the um, measuring equipments and uh, the spo 2 is kind of uh, I wouldn't say uh, uh, accurate because uh, uh, it's better to go with uh, proper health uh, uh, monitoring equipments for measuring SPO2 these are not really that great but other other than that uh, you can go with uh, the menstrual cycles uh, uh, then uh, you can uh, see the sleep tracking is quite good workout modes are also pretty good there is also body temperature you can go with uh, the voice assistant uh, you can actually have uh, the voice assistant here so you can see here you can use uh, Siri or uh, uh, the Google assistant here so those for functionalities are pretty good you can also see the call records the dial pad is pretty good and there are plenty of uh, options available as well so the battery life coming to that uh, we got around uh, say more than a week easily on this bat uh, device so almost like seven to eight days uh, easily you can get uh, if you are not using the watch too much uh, you can get up to 10 days that's pretty good battery life but again if you are using uh, the uh, phone uh, or rather the watch for a lot of calls uh, bluetooth calling then probably you will be running out of battery in just like two to three days uh, especially if you are a person who receives a lot of calls on the watch then probably the battery life goes down drastically compared to the one which you get uh, when you are not using bluetooth so if you are uh, using bluetooth be aware that battery life is like somewhere around two to three days but without that you can get more than 10 days of battery life on this watch so that's the battery performance now let's also see uh, the app uh, here so we also get uh, an app uh, on uh, this uh, uh, device so let's uh, just see the app it is called uh, fit uh, cloud pro so this is the app uh, fit cloud pro so you can see here all the details are available here click to measure all items so then uh, you get the push notifications uh, drink water reminder surrender reminder watch face there are plenty of watch faces available you can customize it so you can see here there are plenty of watch faces available you can just click on it and uh, download it uh, to your uh, watch then race to wake is there uh, elevated heart rate measurement that means in case your heart rate is uh, higher it will uh, uh, measure that and notify you then um, uh, automatic health monitoring then uh, risk preferences so plenty of options are there uh, on this watch and uh, you can set your data here you can uh, even uh, go with the apple health uh, for the, all the data so these are the options available so it's a pretty good uh, app available uh, to customize and get all the details uh, of your health uh, records
So that was our experience with uh, the Gizmo uh, Glow Lux. Uh, it's a premium watch uh, in terms of styling. It looks really good, especially the one uh, with uh, the stainless steel strap also looks great. Here also you get uh, this combination of gold and leather, which looks good. And you also have the black uh, dial. So uh, in terms of looks, uh, this is a pretty good actually one stylish smart watch. And it is actually loaded with features too. It doesn't uh, cut short on features. You, you get a Bluetooth calling AMOLED display, then uh, uh, you get a plenty of watch faces available uh, workout modes everything uh, you ask for it is available battery life is also pretty good uh, if you are not using uh, too many uh, calls one thing what is definitely missing is uh, the lack of always on display that's the only thing we felt was missing otherwise it's a solid watch uh, great build quality stylish looks and loaded with features all these you get for around 3499 uh, the strap uh, one uh, the leather one is uh, priced around 3499 the stainless steel is priced slightly higher around I think 3699 that's around 3700 rupees but still uh, you get great value great stylish uh, features and um, pretty much uh, accurate measurements as well so that was uh, uh, the experience with uh, the uh, Gizmo uh, Glowlex hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day